Do you like secrets? Well, in today's video, I'm going to create the ultimate hidden door in Minecraft. I plan on this door not only working incredibly well, but also working really discreetly, so you won't ever have to worry about anyone knowing where your secret base is hidden. Now with that out of the way, it's time to dive right into it. Now I've gone ahead and made a couple of prototypes here. If you plop a block right there, it'll open this up right away and you can hop down. You'll be able to access your blocks right here. And once you press this button, it'll cycle the item that you just dropped, which should be stashed in here. Yep. It'll cycle it down to the chest and it'll close everything back up nice and neat. And sometimes it'll turn it back into dirt, but it'll grow back into grass eventually. And over here we have the same model and we're going to build a small little rendition of it. Very simple, very basic, just so you can see the bare bones of it and build it yourself. So the first thing you want to do is you want to build the little tunnel right here. Um, I would recommend somewhere between four and five blocks just so you have a little bit of wiggle room underneath. Now you might have to dig out a little bit in the grass depending on how short it is. So I'm gonna go an extra block and just call it at six. It's not really necessary how far down I need it to go. It all depends on where you want it to stop. Just a quick note, I have this slime block set up right here. So if you close this, it'll bounce you back up. It is down here at seven blocks down. So if you built upwards, from this slime block, it would be six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to put it at the seventh block down if you're making an entryway. So we're going to pop a redstone repeater right in front of this log, three logs down. Now I'm just going to build one out so we know where this is going. Then pop two upwards and a redstone torch right next to the repeater. So there's a signal going into it. Build three out, then place these two blocks right here, face two pistons in a vertical position. And then once you have that built, put one piston right in front of the lower piston, then a slime block on top. You don't need a slime block. I don't know what I was thinking. So just replace that with whatever material block you're using here. Now that that is fixed, build outwards on a diagonal from the lower piston. So just two blocks outwards from this piston, then build one right on top of the upper pit or to the side of the upper piston and now place a redstone torch in between the two and facing towards the pistons and now you've got both the pistons pushing inwards and that one actually since this redstone torch is powering it has powered the inward um, piston as well what you're going to want to grab now is a minecart with a hopper a rail a hopper a chest and um, actually two more of each or one more of each. So two hoppers, two chests. In this order, we're going to put ch a chest, a hopper, another chest, another hopper, a rail, and a hopper with a minecart. Now this lines up perfectly with my build because now all I have to do is plop a log right there on top. And then once we have that in place, just place a log on top on the side of this lower hopper and put a comparator facing outwards from that chest. Now what we're gonna wanna do is grab our light blue wool again and just bring that around over here. So extend it by two more blocks, then put one light blue wool right here next to this one. Now you're gonna wanna put one repeater right here in front of the comparator, then line that with two redstone or actually three in an L shape or in a 90 degree angle around over to this redstone torch. Now bring that wool line again in another 90 degree angle over to this redstone torch. Now place another redstone dust on top of this upper block. Now you have all of this lined up. So if it's powered on, all of this will power off. One more thing I forgot to mention is you want to add another redstone repeater right here with a three tick delay. After that, you have everything set up in this area. Go inwards on your build and find a furnace. So four furnaces, actually, if you're building this in survival, plop them all down right there. Then put a sticky piston right below those four furnaces. Then a slime block on top of that piston, break those two logs in front of you, and this is your, going to be your entryway. Place a button of your choice down. After that is 
place a redstone dust below that. Leave it in the plus position and then press that. And oh, I forgot something else. Place three more furnaces around. Now it won't stick to the walls. Just like that. Now bring the redstone signal around the build over to the chest. Now what this is going to do is this is going to invert this hopper. We can control how long it stays closed. Now just break that back. Oh, not all the way. Pop that there. Now if I am correct, this should work. Now let's test if it opens up correctly. All right, opens up. Let's hop down. There's a button there, I promise. Wow, that blends in well. Now let's just press that and it should close up. There we go. It's closed up, works well. Pop another block over there, we fall back in. And we have our path right here set up. Let's build along. It won't, doesn't disturb this line. It's all good. Ever wanna get back out? And it's completely discreet. No one will notice. Like especially over here. Just pop a block down right there. And it works. I'm no redstone expert and I got it to work. So I hope that this really simple, really basic version of redstone will help you start to advance your redstone skills. One of my favorite parts about this design is the lack of sound. If you want to open it, it's quick and it only moves two pistons and it's done. It's quiet already. Overall, I just, I really love this design. I don't know if it's already out there. I just, I, I just kind of put something together. I promise this is entirely just from my ideas and experimenting. If there's somebody already out there, kudos to you. You beat me to it. But yeah, this is for what it is, my creation. And I hope you guys really enjoy it. And I hope it benefits you in all your survival needs and everything else that you plan to do in your survival world. That's it for today. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you like this kind of content, small redstone creations for beginners, um, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.